What is intracranial hypotension and why is it important? Allow me to explain spinal CSF leaks. This is what a leak can look like. Symptoms generally worsen when being upright and improve or resolve when lying flat. They can include things like head pain or pressure, nausea or fatigue, as well as many other neurological and autonomic symptoms. Not everyone will have all symptoms. Some may only have a headache when standing, but having a variety of symptoms may also be significant. Cerebrospinal fluid surrounds the brain and spinal cord, providing protection and nourishment. It helps the brain function and is held in by a thin membrane called the dura mater, which is Latin for tough mother. When the dura is damaged, spinal fluid escapes, causing the brain to sag. Dural tears can be the size of the tip of a needle or the size of a U.S. nickel. They can happen anywhere in the brain or spinal column. Without sufficient spinal fluid, the brain starts to sag, causing intense pain and cognitive issues. Spinal CSF leaks can be caused by medical procedures such as surgery, epidural, lumbar punctures, and chiropractic manipulation. Accident or injury, bone spur or other spine issues, venous fistula, weakened dura due to illness or connective tissue disorder, and more. Even something as minor as sneezing, coughing, straining, or stretching can lead to leaking. Leaks can happen to anyone. Very few things besides treatment help to relieve leak symptoms. Some spinal leaks may heal on their own, but a blood patch procedure or surgery may be needed. Misdiagnosis is unfortunately the norm. It's common for sufferers to go months, years, and even decades without diagnosis. Spinal leaks are often mistaken for fibromyalgia, chronic migraines, sinus issues, and even stress. Spinal CSF leaks are not rare, only misdiagnosed, at a rate higher than 90%. Absence of MRI findings does not rule out a spinal CSF leak. Neither does normal opening pressure. In fact, lumbar punctures should not be used unless in the course of other testing. This is why it's important to find a doctor knowledgeable in the diagnosis and treatment of leaks. Misinformation, misdiagnosis, and delayed diagnosis are common. Finding help can feel impossible. In recent studies, several quality of life metrics for spinal CSF leaks scored worse than in patients with cancer. Spinal leaks are devastating, physically, emotionally, financially. Leakers just want their lives back. The good news is most cases can be fixed. If you or anyone you know has a pain or fatiguing illness with an orthostatic element, meaning symptoms improved when lying down, even if it only happened when the symptoms first began, please look into spinal CSF leaks. And please, help spread the word. Share this video. It may change someone's life. If you'd like more information or a directory of physicians, visit the Spinal CSF Leak Foundation website. The illustrations in this video are by Bree Schmeida, who suffered with a leak for eight years after a fall from a horse. Her spinal CSF leak, a dural tear, was repaired by surgery. The video was created by Melissa Wright, who suffered for years after slipping on stairs. Her spinal CSF leaks were repaired by a simple blood patch procedure. This video has been read to you by Gideon Bedlam. Thank you for listening.